Hey everyone, and welcome to Sarcaster Nerd Videos. Today I'm just going to make a quick video on how to mine crypto with pools. This is something I just started doing, and it took me a while to find all the documentation and stuff, so I figured I'd make a quick video just so everybody can see how to do it. The first thing you need is a wallet. So I've already created a Monero wallet, and it's ready to go, it's already mining. I just want to add more miners because it's faster and, it's, and this system is a better system. Also this system has an NVIDIA card so I may want to make sure to set it up for using the GPU mining also. So it will mine with GPU and CPU which will be faster and you'll get a higher hash rate which means more coin. Like I said this is assuming that you already have a wallet. If you need a separate video on how to create a wallet, I could do that. If it's clear in the comments that people want to see it, I'll make a video about it. Go to this latest version, which just came out a few months ago, 618.1. I'll put a link in the description if you want to download this yourself. And also this version is compatible with the CUDA plugin. And you need the CUDA plugin to do the to use your NVIDIA GPU so this is the version that I want to download so and it's the MSV Win64 version that I want I've already downloaded a version but I figured might as well and also right now I, I have a real-time scanning turned off on my uh, on my computer because it does see uh, mining software as a uh, so you will have to make exceptions for those. So now that I've downloaded the main mining program, I'll download the CUDA add-on. Not sure why there's zero, one, two, three, four. But we should get the latest version. So four. That. I use 7-zip to extract. It's free. You can get it from GitHub also. And I'll extract CUDA. Alright, so now I want to add the CUDA DLLs and files. to your XM rig folder. Copy, paste, place this file, and we're good. Now this folder you can put wherever you want. This is where your your rig is gonna run from. And there's two examples here. There's one for solo mining and one for pool mining. And since we're doing pool mining, that's the one we'll use. And edit this gives you an example now the way this is written uh, these colons are just make this all comments so everything here is comments doesn't affect anything what does though is your pool information and your wallet information and that's really all you need to add if you don't want to use your GPU you just want to use CPU. So that's what I'll do right now. So they use your pool information here. And if you click on the how to start, you'll see the two different uh, kinds of pools. I want to get the regular because I don't I don't have nice hash, so I'll use the regular pool. Here, and then I'll take my wallet and put that here. Now, the wallet information I know um, some people aren't, some people uh, might think you need to be careful with this, but this is just an address to your wallet. This is how people can send you money, this is how the pool can send you money, but 
your wallet should be very secure when you set it up so that it you know you need like an entire phrase of 25 random words to open it like that's not something people are gonna hack so you don't have to worry too much about your, your wallet being address being known um all right save it and there's a pause here so that if the program crashes you can see your stats and then i'll just go back and run it And you can see that it's running. So it gives you some information here about your your machine, so you know how much you have available. Uh, you can see CUDA is disabled. So it's not gonna it's not gonna use this, the GPU to machine right now. Okay, there you go. There's the speed. So about 2K for the hash. But we're not using the GPU. So we're not going as fast as we want to right now. So I'll close this. And you saw that it was stopping. Go back here. And I'll add slash Gouda. So that'll turn on the CUDA plugin. But also, you need to go into the JSON, open it. You want to open it with your notepad. Scroll down to where it says CUDA and change that to true. And you need the location of the CUDA. DLL. Do shift click can get copy as path. Go back here. Change the null. And there's your whole path. And you can obviously change this. It just runs directly from your folder. It's not a program that gets installed. So you can change this to an easier path if you want. It's easier to find. So I'll save this, and that's all you need to do to start uh, mining with GPU. So now that that's enabled, I'll run it again. Now you can see CUDA is enabled. And you can see it's grabbing some of the GPU information for running hashes. I think it usually takes about a minute or so. And you can see from this dashboard, like I like this one because it tells you when you have it set up, it tells you how much you can expect to earn in a day. All your information here, you got a pay balance. So once it reaches, I forget exactly what the number is that it's trying to reach. I think 120 or 0.1 Monero, I think. And that should be it. You can see the speed starting to be reported. The, and the, uh, it's only using 34% of the fan, which is good. I don't want to overload anything. And that's just the other thing. You could tweak this so it mines more and uses more power. But I'm just doing the basic configuration because I want my computer to actually last for a while. And there you go, you can see the number starting to go back up as the number here, as it's starting to report. And that should be it. Like after a while, it'll go back up numbers, depending on what I have going and all that. And then you just wait for the fail. So like I said, this is just a quick video to set it up, get your mining going. I won't go into too much detail or anything like that. It's just a basic get your setup. You're starting to make money. You're starting to make coin. You have a wallet. You can do things with it and you get your money. 
so try it out and if you if there's more questions about how to set up a wallet or uh which crypto i think is the best to do i'll make separate videos but it really just depends on how much people are actually interested in videos like this so thank you and have a nice day and if you like the video like share subscribe and share with others